Yeah. There are multiple classes shown in this video. Hey guys, it's the alumni with two threes and uh Hey, it's Black Ops. Hey, you got Black Ops. Yeah, good job. No, I didn't. <laughs> Cuz me. Well, first of all, if you hadn't noticed, the keys were uh See? See there? It's uh A, it's not X. And uh the D-pad on the bottom right, it's uh an Xbox. So, see there? Right there. It's an Xbox controller. I only play on the PS3. You know, I mean, most of you know that. I mean, it says so on my YouTube background, PSN Lonely. But, um, well, uh, today, I, I just want to talk about, uh, uh, something that, uh, happened earlier. Earlier? Well, not earlier, but something that happened recently. And, uh, I'm not gonna talk about what happened, but, um, there's something that teens seem to think during puberty, and that's, uh, they're stupid, you know, because people think uh, differently about themselves when they go through puberty. I mean, yeah, you know, with all the testosterone and uh, hormones and such. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm cracking my knuckles. But, um, so, about thinking that you're stupid if you're a teen and going through puberty, it's, uh, it's not actually like you're stupid. Okay. Um, there's actually a theory that a scientist named Howard Gardner made in 1983, and it uh it checks your ac academic strengths. So like um, say you're good at uh, socializing. You're that means you're interpersonal. That means you uh you easily get friends. You easily interact with others. You like to work in groups. You uh, you fit in with many crowds, and you have lots of friends, basically. And uh, so, if you have lots of friends, well, you're smart at being interpersonal. See, nobody's stupid now. So um, well, I should explain the uh, intelligences. So um, let's see. Uh, the first intelligence is spatial, and what it is is uh. Can easily find the you can easily find the dimensions of something. It's not like math, but you can easily figure out how much one thing can go into something. So, say you want to put up wallpaper, or you want to draw or paint a wall, you, you would easily know you would easily know how much paint it would take to uh, to fill it up to cover the wall. And it's something like that. Uh, if you want to become a architect, you need to have spatial intelligence. And uh, so the next intelligence is linguistic. Linguistic intelligence is like um, you're really good at grammar. You're good at speaking. You're good at uh, you're good at spelling, just like that. You know, you're good at language, basically. And uh, you're also good at uh, you can easily learn languages, per se. I don't even know what per se means. I just, I just like. Well, I guess it makes sense if I say per se. But um, what else they can do? They can easily explain things. They can persuade people. They would know a lot about uh, the words. They have a big vocabulary. And um, on the page I'm on, it says pleasure. It says pleasure. Knowledge of pleasure. That seems very uh, interesting. <laughs> um, the next, the next intelligence. Jeez, I can't get over the pleasure thing. But the next intelligence is logical, mathematical, and that basically means you're uh, you're good at things such as like math. Obviously, you would know how to uh, do computer programming. You can do, uh, you can reason, you know, you know how to play chess, checkers, uh, it's like, uh, being a military s strategist, you know, so like, you know, tactics, and, uh, that's actually really good when you're playing Call of Duty, you need tactics. Tactics is key! 
to playing this game. It's not it's not like Modern Warfare 2 where you can noob tube away. Danger close, one man army, commando, let's go! It, it's it's uh it it's it involves strategy. That wait, no. I'm getting confused. Mathematical and logical, being good at that means that you can basically you're good at tactics. Wait, I already said this. <laughs> Why am I repeating myself? Though I'm stupid. <laughs> oh wait. Why am I saying I'm stupid? I'm talking about something that explains that everyone is smart in some way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but uh, let's move on with the next. Let's move on with the next uh, intelligence. So the next intelligence is Bali kinesthetic, and that basically means that. You're good at sports, you're uh, really athletic, you're involved in a lot of sports, well not a lot of them, you would be involved in at least one sport, uh, you, you like doing dance, you like to play stuff like baseball, hockey, uh, how you, uh, you have to explain things by like, not moving your, moving your hands around, but making hand gestures, and uh, you're good at, well, like, say, deaf people, they're good at sign language, right? That basically means they're probably kinesthetic. You don't exactly have to uh, play sports, but you just like uh, doing physical activities. And uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but the I live close to an airport. I'm only, like, a couple miles away. So uh, airplanes are really close to the ground. But, uh... Yeah, so let's move on to the next intelligence. Uh, musical intelligence. I'm really good. It. I'm really good with music. And uh, what musical intelligence is basically is is that you're uh, you're good at you're good with music. It's like you can you can sing, you can rap, and like you can you can easily think of lyrics. Um, you don't exactly have to sing, but you have to uh, play an instrument. Not have to, but you have you you have um, a way of thinking. Or uh, some, or most of the time you would be singing a tune. You would be humming something like like me. I I play an instrument and I. Uh, I usually catch myself humming to myself like you know a recent song that I heard and also uh, musical mus being musically intelligent also means that uh, you can use in one or two uh, listenings of a certain song you can you can easily remember the lyrics and you're not very accurate with your lyrics, but you have a uh, you basically know how it goes, right? And uh, okay, next intelligence is interpersonal, and uh, I talked about this in the first the first time. So basically, what you can be is uh, you not what you can be, but what you know is that you're really good with uh, socializing. You would have a lot of friends. Uh, you like you like being with others. You work well in groups. You can uh, you can get into a crowd pretty easily. You can fit in easily. And uh, I think everyone should have a uh, should be like that. I mean I'm not, but uh, because I'm intrapersonal. That's the opposite of being interpersonal. And uh, you like being lonely. No, not like loner lonely, but like like you like it to be quiet, peaceful. You you just want everything to be nice and calm. You know, you think about your the future of your life. Basically like that. And that's what I like to do. My friend and my friend taught me how to be like that. <laughs> but um yeah. And, uh, since this is the end, basically. I guess uh I should get to my closing comments uh... well this is the alumni with two threes and uh... i hope you guys had fun hearing this and uh... if you have anyone that thinks they're stupid 
Link them here and they'll see that they aren't. So, uh, this is the alumni to be signing out. Peace.